Hello friends, welcome to interview preparation. If you are preparing for a DevOps profile, then you must know about that what is a Jenkins file. A Jenkins file is a crucial component in the Jenkins automation server serving as a blueprint defining the Jenkins pipeline. It is used to define the entire build process for a project including the steps to be executed in the order in which it is to be executed. This file is typically stored in the source code repository of the project and is really read by the Jenkins to execute the build process. Remember this key point. The Jenkins file is declarative, versioned and stored in the source code repo enabling the efficient CICD practices. Unlike the manual configuration which requires manual updates, it is not versioned and the Manual configuration is separate from the code repo, making it less efficient for CI/CD. Here are the four critical components of the Jenkins file. Agent, Stages, Steps, Post. For your Jenkins file interview preparation, remember to define the agent, outline stages, detailed steps, and the implementation of post action. If you master these steps, you can create the efficient Jenkins file for your efficient Jenkins pipeline. Let's talk about the agent section. The agent section specify where the pipeline or the specific stage will run, allowing you to configure it to use any available agent or a specific label. Here is the example of the agent section in the Jenkins file configuration. Next we have the stage section. The stage section defines the different stages of the pipeline such as build, test and deploy stage, each containing multiple steps and running on different agents if needed. Here is the example of stages section in the Jenkins file configuration. Moving on the step section. The step section contains the actual command or the script to be executed within a stage, including the shell commands, script execution. These scripts can be shell script, PowerShell scripts, or many more. Also, it includes a call to the other Jenkins plugin also. Here is the example of step section in the Jenkins file configuration. Finally, let's look at the post section. The post section defined actions to be taken after the pipeline or the stage completion, such as cleanup task, sending notification, or any other post build actions. Here is the example of post section in the Jenkins file configuration. In summary, using Jenkins files bring numerous benefits like automation, version control, flexibility, and transparency. It can be seamlessly integrated with Docker and Kubernetes, automating the entire ecosystem with Jenkins. This ensure a robust CI/CD pipeline, enhancing the efficiency and reliability. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tutorials like this. Happy learning!